I've realized that Tuesday is not only the day that I am using to check in on my financial goals, but also for me to check in on my kind of self-improvement summer goals that I set for myself. And so far with those goals, we are not doing as well as I would like. Um, we are doing well with some, like I have been very active this summer. I've been either working out or swimming with my kids every day. It's been a fantastic start to the summer. I'm feeling really energetic and having a great time with that. So it's going really well. However, I'm not doing some of the other things that are more on the mental side, like reading better self-improvement books for myself doing yoga and meditating multiple times per week. I did make it to a yoga class last week, so I'm kind of using Tuesday to check in. My goal is to go to yoga twice a week. Did I go twice a week last week? No, I went once. Okay, this week, let's make a change. Let's make an improvement. So Transfer Tuesday is going to also be my check-in day for all my other goals, for my budget, for my plans for the summer for my self-improvement goals and I just felt like telling you guys that because having a weekly check-in for whatever you're working on is just a really helpful way to make progress. So I think that now that I am going to make myself be accountable and check in on those goals once a week, I will actually probably do them more than likely. I have found that if I schedule a yoga class with a friend and have someone with me or waiting for me to get there, that accountability really helps me. Outside accountability has been a huge thing for me that has helped me achieve all of my goals and that is why I still do Transfer Tuesday because having the accountability of you guys really truly helps me stay on track and actually work toward the financial goals that I set because some of these financial goals can take years of time like saving up for a house and it's really easy to get distracted, to go a different direction, to forget about the goal, to spend your money on other stuff. So having Transfer Tuesday just brings me back to the goal to focus on it. And because I have you, I'm accountable to someone and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, and before I get into it, I really wanna just celebrate a couple of you guys. I did this last week when I shared out another YouTuber who has started doing Transfer Tuesday and paid off all their debt and that was super cool. Um, but I love seeing your comments and for a while I wasn't putting them in videos, but I think I might bring it back because it is so motivating to see when other people are winning. I love to celebrate other people winning. So these are my favorite comments from last week and the things that you guys achieved. You all are so awesome. And it really motivates me to see when you guys are making progress on Transfer Tuesday and making those transfers and getting closer to your financial goals as well. So today for Transfer Tuesday, I am gonna be looking at my financial goal that we've been working on for 2024, and that is my house savings for the year. So for this year in 2024, I want to put in $10,000 to a savings account, to a high yield savings account, so that I can build up a bigger down payment for our eventual home purchase when we decide where we want to move and when we want to move. So this is something we've been working on all year and I'm really excited about the progress that we've started to have in the last couple months. Last week we ended with a total of $2,707.39. So that's where we were at the end of the week last week. So that's where we start today and we have four different transfers. So the first transfer was $6.43. And this $6.43 was the leftover amount I had budgeted for something and it ended up being a little bit less than I had thought. So I decided just right then to immediately transfer over the $6.43 and there we go. So that $6.43 went into the account. Sometimes I'll do that if I have a very specific amount I budgeted for something and then it ends up being a lot cheaper or just I have extra money from something I had planned, I'll move it over. So that's what I did in this case. And then the next transfer was $9.40. So $9.40 was actually my upside cash out for the week. I do typically cash out on upside once a week or so and I try to get at least $10 if I can uh, wait to get $10, but lately it's been a little bit under that. And that is just from me filling up my own car. My husband sometimes does it too. And then also I do get some money from referrals. And there is a $5 referral bonus right now. So if anyone signs up, that number could potentially go up for the next couple weeks. 
They do bonuses every once in a while. If you sign up and you haven't used it before and you sign up, you get like $5, $7, something like that. But it's nice to throw nine or $10 every so often toward this account. And then the next transfer was $100. And that is what I am putting into this account every single week. So I have $100 that is transferred automatically to this account. It works out really well. And that is just something I don't have to worry about. It happens in the background. And every Tuesday I look and there's the $100 and I'm happy about it. So it's really nice to have that automation in addition to all the other ways I try to find money or earn money and put toward this account. So that way I know it's at least growing every week by $100 and that will get us a lot closer to our goal overall. And then the final transfer was another $100. Um, I did a little bit of extra work this week and had a little bit of extra money. So I moved over another $100, which is nice. Basically, if I'm able to do any extra work on top of what I get paid normally from my business here on YouTube, I do try to move that over. So any side hustles or side work or gigs or working for my friend that's a florist, anything I do, I'll put toward this. So I do like to have a little bit of variety in my work uh, sometimes. So if I take like a little extra side gig, I will put that money toward this. And that's what I did this week. So I had $100 go in. So all of that together got us so close to the next milestone, but we did not quite hit it this week. So we had over $200 go in and we got up to a new total in this 2024 house savings account of $2,923.22. So, so close to that $3,000 mark. When I saw that, I was like, oh, do I have, do I have like $80, almost $80, 70 something dollars to put toward this? Do I, can I find that? And I really can't because I have everything budgeted and planned for this month and next with our vacation coming up and all of the summer things that we're doing. So I really don't want to put us in a bad position elsewhere just to fund this goal. So I'm not going to do that. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, I should have done a little bit extra this week and worked a little bit harder or found some money somewhere else. But in the last minute, couldn't do it. But we're at 29.23 today. So you know what? We're making progress. I feel good about that. Just honestly, not even that long ago in April, we just hit $1,000. So we're about to hit 3,000, which means we are doing really well and the money is starting to pile up. And I think that we will be able to still hit our goal. For the year, I think that $10,000 is still slightly a stretch, but possible. And that feels really good to know that we're on the path, we are making progress, and it's all because I'm accountable to you guys and I come here every week for Transfer Tuesday. Okay, comic club, if you watch this far, type in below accountable because being accountable to you and to the goals that I've set has been so helpful for me. And I really hope that you can find the right ways to be accountable in your own life. It does really help and you know what i hope you all are working on achieving your goals i will see you guys next week as we work on our goals together see you guys then that's kind of what i'm thinking is to use the next few months to improve my life and my overall every aspect of it so i'm actually going to share my list of things that i want to do this summer just because why not I've written out a couple different goals for my self-improvement summer kind of guidelines of course if i don't hit them that's fine but just the general idea of what I want to do this summer. So be where my feet are is kind of the theme. And then along with being more present and working on the mindfulness, I want to go to yoga twice a week and just be in yoga classes because I'm not very great at practicing at home. But if I go to a class, I will get in that mindset and try to work on being present and being mindful. And then I want to work on daily activity, whether that's just a yoga class or a walk with my kids for like a mile or something doing that. I want to read two self-improvement books per month. I read a lot, but I have stopped reading like improvement books or financial books or anything like that. So I want to go back to that. And then I want to focus on drinking enough water. I keep getting very dehydrated, which is not fun, especially in the summer when it's really hot. So I want to drink enough water, which probably is around 100 ounces and make sure that I'm really well hydrated, especially if I'm doing hot yoga. So I want to make sure that that kind of goes together. And then my final one is to continue weekly transfer Tuesdays, just because that's a very good financial habit for me. And also to focus on being where I am with my goals and not trying to jump ahead so quickly when it's not really feasible or possible. So being where I am with my goals and being happy and content with that because I've done so much already in that's kind of the idea of the self-improvement summer and what I plan to do this summer. 